Well, hello, Internet. This is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. Today we are bringing you a review of the Yamaha AC5R. If you've seen our previous video, or if you haven't, of the range of Yamaha guitars, uh, you might know this. If you haven't seen that, I definitely recommend that you, you go view that video on our YouTube page. The A series from Yamaha is one of my favorite series because what it does is it brings Yamaha's uh, knowledge of craft, articulation, quality, and playability to a modern guitar design. Um, and everything about these guitars is about kind of a modern acoustic guitar design, from the tone to the techniques to the aesthetic look of it. Um, and this guitar uh, probably shows that uh, off more so than anything else in the A-Series lineup. Now the A series follows an odd numeric or odd number numeric uh, platform. So you've got an A1, an A3, and an A5. The A1s are solid top laminate back and sides. The A3s are all solid guitars made in China. And then the A5s are made in Japan. They're all solid wood. They're the pre most premium or precious of the group. Come with hard shell cases and whatnot. And this particular one, I happen to like a lot. I play a lot of finger style music, but I also like to use a pick. And these concert body sizes from Yamaha really hit the sweet spot because it's a small bodied guitar, very comfortable with a tight waist um, and a small top. So it responds really quickly, but it's deeper than you'd see on a lot of guitars of this size. Um, so it's, it's actually, um, pretty similar to the, the specs on an Olsen SJ, um, if you're familiar with that uh, very lofty individual luthier brand, where it's, a, again, about the size of a triple O or OM called a concert body, but it's a lot deeper than those, more like a Grand Auditorium from Taylor, but again, smaller than that. So really a, a comfortable guitar that is extremely versatile, which is what I like about it. The specs on this guitar are fantastic. So as I mentioned, it's made in Japan. It's a hand-built guitar. The top is Torfied Sitka Spruce. This is using Yamaha's proprietary ARE technology, which is their own take on torrefaction, which is kind of a big thing in the industry. Again, modern guitar, right? That is a process of heat treating the wood so that it prematurely ages the wood and opens it up. Uh, so it's kind of like what the wood would sound like if it was 10 or 20 years old already. It's got scalloped bracing. The back and sides are East Indian rosewood, um, wooden mahogany binding, um, really nice uh, tortoiseshell pit guard, uh, wood inlaid rosette. It's got rosewood bridge and fingerboard. The neck is African mahogany. We also call that sapele. Uh, it's a lot like mahogany. It looks like mahogany. It feels like mahogany. It's great wood. Uh, inlay is slotted diamond inlay on the uh, fingerboard and then uh, mother of pearl Yamaha on the headstock. It's a 25 and a half inch scale tusk branded nut and saddle. Tusk is a synthetic bone if you're not familiar with it. So it performs and sounds like bone, but it's, you know more consistent in the density of it, which works well for a guitar with an under saddle pickup like this one. Cutaway body style um, and it's got a 1.687 um, width on the nut. So not too wide, not too narrow, nice and comfortable. So if you have maybe slightly chunkier fingers or you just want more space between the strings, it works well for that. The pickup on these we've covered in our previous videos, and this is their SRT blend pickup. So you've got an under saddle pickup and then you've also got modeling uh, based off some really high-end studio microphones that you can switch between on this. And you can blend how much of that microphone sound you want along with the under saddle sound on the guitar, along with volume, treble, and bass. All in all, it's a really fantastic, comfortable, modern guitar. It's extremely versatile, and it's basically stage ready. But with the solid wood construction, scalloped bracing, and torrified top, it has a fantastic, really a tremendous acoustic tone um, that lends itself to a variety of musical styles. Pricing on these is right at about $1,400. So for a high quality built Japanese guitar that's all solid construction, all gloss, really has all of the features there, um, you're getting quite a bargain, roughly probably about at least $1,000 less than you'd pay for a comparable American built guitar from one of the various manufacturers that are out there. So I would encourage you, if you can, to try one of these out in person. 
Otherwise, we do this video so that you can hear a good sound sample through a variety of techniques of what this guitar sounds like. So check it out. Hey, thanks so much for watching the videos we put out on YouTube. We make these with the goal of helping you find the right instrument to suit your needs, to find the perfect fit so that you find the right guitar and bring many years of joy. We believe strongly that if you play a note, it can change your life. But if you're shopping for a guitar right now, you may be overwhelmed by the amount of choices that are available. Should you get an acoustic guitar, an electric guitar, a classical guitar? Which features matter, price points, things like that. It can be overwhelming. And for that reason, I've written a guitar buyer's guide called Don't Get a Good Deal on the Wrong Guitar. Follow the link below to download this very comprehensive guide that will talk about every aspect that you should be paying attention to when it comes to purchasing a new guitar. If you ever have questions or need help, go to our website, alamomusic.com. We're here to help. Thanks. Mm -hmm.